Hey, this is Tim from Instructional Technology bringing you today how to log in to Yammer. If you've never set up or logged into Yammer, this is the video that you want to watch. We are going to take you through exactly how to do it. Right up here in the upper area called the URL, we are going to type in yammer.com and press enter. Once we've typed in yammer.com, Yammer will load. It tells you exactly what Yammer is. Yammer is about connecting with your coworkers. This is designed only for people who have the same exact email address. So, workers within CMS. It gives us an opportunity to collaborate and share across the district without actually having to leave or go anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead I'm going to go ahead and use a, um, an address that we use for our wiki help. So, because obviously I've already logged in with mine, but you would go ahead and put your first dot last name or however you have it used at cms.k12ncus. And I'm going to go ahead and sign up. All right, it says check your email to complete this registration. So now I have to go into my email. And log in, like and there it is. There's the Yammer last step right there. So I need to complete the sign up by clicking on this page. I'm going to readjust this so it's right back in there. All right, so it says here's my email name, and then I would put in my full name. It's really important that you put in your full name, okay? You don't want to just put in your first name or just your last name. You want to put in your full name. Reason being is this is how we're going to get to know you. I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. If you notice that it must contain at least six characters. My department name is still part of instructional technology. And my job title would be, I am a fake email, but I would put in my real job that I am an instructional technology specialist. We highly recommend that you fill this out to the fullest, even even putting your school, that this is like a district level. You could put yours that you work at a particular school, things like that. Do not click on this, I'd like to become the administrator of the network. They will contact you and in trying, trying, in trying to get you to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And of course, wait patiently. Now it says, who do you work with? You can actually type in people you can work with. Um, that's totally up to you if you think it's valuable. Most people will see it probably as spam. So if you're just checking this out for the first time, you don't need to or should you fill out other coworkers. Choose whose messages you'd like to follow. You do not have to follow any of these people. If you don't know them and you don't want to follow them, click on this button. You can choose to follow people later. Okay, that is key. Following people and who you choose to follow is what makes Yammer important. If you want to know about technology things, you can click on myself and Jacob Standish. If you're interested in ESL technology, you could click on Ginny Grayback. If you're interested in all the internal communications, like the emails that we get from Judith, you can click on her name. So these are just suggestions. There are many more people. I'm going to choose to select none of them, and I'm going to come back and choose them out later. Now here's where I would upload a photo. If you don't have a photo to upload right now, don't worry about it. You can come back and do it later. I'm going to skip. Now here you can install the desktop app. Some people seem to really like the app. Others don't. That's totally up to you whether or not you choose to install it. I have chosen not to, so I'm going to skip this one as well. And there you go. I am now logged in as it. <laughs> Sorry, but that just kind of makes me laugh. So uh, I can now see uh, there's nobody in my feed because I'm not following anybody. But if I click on the company feed, I will see everything that's been going on this morning and all the people that have already joined and added their faces. So that's wonderful. Back on my feed, you notice down here it said follow your coworkers. So you can click on this and it's going to bring up the list of everybody that's in here. And if you notice, there are, I believe, 800 and something people in here. It's still loading up. If you roll over this, 855 members right now. So it continues to grow. That is how you log in and get started. Other 
screencasts are going to deal with your account and how you can change your settings. So please look for those as well. Thank you again, and this is Timothy Smith coming to you live from Instructional Technology.